Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top 40 weapons in Dark Souls. This list will be based on weapon looks, move sets, and strength of the weapon. So without further ado, let's begin with Street Swords. Dark Sword. This sword can be acquired by reaching rank 3 in the Darkwave Covenant. This sword was chosen for its cool looks and unique moveset. The moveset for this sword replaces the strong attack with the same combos that the other dark raids use, and I would be lying if I said these didn't look awesome. Drake Sword. This sword can be acquired by cutting off the tail of the Red Drake. I chose this sword because of its incredible looks and unique special ability, which allows the user to create a shockwave when you do a two-handed strong attack. Next up, let's talk about Great Swords. Abyss Greatsword. This sword can be acquired by ascending a weapon with the soul of Artorius. I chose this sword because it has one of the coolest movesets in the game, and not to mention it looks freaking awesome. Moonlight Greatsword. This sword is the reward for cutting off the tail of Seif the Scaleless, and this sword was chosen because it is arguably the strongest melee weapon for sorcerers, because it scales really well with intelligence. The strong attacks for this weapon also look wicked and really suit a sorcerer well. Obsidian Greatsword. This is the tail weapon dropped from Black Dragon Calamite, and allows you to shoot black fire from the sword. This is especially cool because, as far as I know, no other weapon in the game can create black fire. Stone Greatsword. This weapon drops off the Stone Knights in the Darkroot Woods, and I almost didn't include this weapon, but in the end I did because this weapon looks kinda cool and has a really awesome ability, which allows you to cast Tranquil Walk of Peace, making this sword very effective in PvP. Now let's move on to Ultra Greatswords. Black Knight Greatsword. This weapon drops off the Greatsword Black Knights that appear either in the Undead Parish or the Kiln of the First Flame. I chose this sword because 1. It looks awesome, and 2. It has a cool unique moveset. Demon Great Machete. This weapon can be acquired as a drop from the Capra Demons, or it can be bought from Shiva of the East in Blighttown. I debated whether to include this weapon or not, but in the end I did because of its cool looks and fantastic power. This weapon has really good scaling and strong base damage, making it a very effective and cool sword. Dragon Greatsword dropped from the Everlasting Dragon in Ash Lake. And this has to be my favourite Ultra Greatsword in the game, because of its amazing model and incredibly strong attack. Observe. Next up is Curved Swords. Gold Tracer. This sword can be acquired from Siren by either trading in Artorias' soul or by killing her. This sword has a really cool effect when you swing it, and when combined with its cool moveset, this can make for a pretty badass looking weapon. Jagged Ghost Blade, a rare drop from the ghosts in New Londo. This blade is really cool because not only does it look cool, but it also has a unique moveset that allows you to stab your opponent like some sort of murderer. And one last thing is that this blade can attack ghosts without the user being cursed. Quaylag's Fury Sword, obtained through ascending a weapon with the soul of Quaylag. This weapon is by far my favourite weapon in the game, because of its absolutely amazing model and effect. I mean seriously, the sword ignites when you swing it. How cool is that? The sword is also quite effective, making it viable to use in PvE and PvP. This weapon also has strong fire damage, which makes it even more powerful as it can go through most shields. So while this list isn't in any particular order, this weapon is definitely my favourite in the game. Shotel, the only weapon in the game that completely ignores shields, making it one of the best PvP weapons. This sword not only looks lethal, but it also scales fairly well, making it viable in both PvE and PvP, but the main selling point of this weapon would be the fact that it ignores shields, because this makes it so much better than most of the weapons in PvP. And the final sword category is Curve Great Swords, but I could only find one of these that I particularly liked, and that would be the Gravelord Sword. This sword is acquired from joining the Gravelord Covenant, and is on this list because it has a really cool model that is very similar to Nito's weapon, and also this weapon has some pretty unique abilities. By this I of course mean that this weapon can cause Toxic on your opponent, which makes it pretty strong in PvP, as Toxic deals a lot of damage very quickly. This weapon doesn't have great scaling, but it still does pretty good base damage, making it strong no matter what. 
Next up is daggers, but once again only one of these caught my attention, and that would be the Dark Silver Tracer. This weapon is acquired in the same way that the Gold Tracer is acquired, and it's just as cool. Not only does this weapon have a really cool model and effect, but it can also inflict toxic, making it even more deadly in PvE and PvP. Next up would be hammers, but unfortunately I couldn't find any that really stood out, so instead we'll just skip straight to great hammers. Smaug's Hammer, obtained through Ascension with the Soul of Smaug. And while this hammer is not very effective, it's still on this list because it's pretty damn cool, is massive, and has a pretty cool moveset. Grant, this weapon drops off Paladin Leroy in the Tomb of the Giants, and I put this one on the list as it looks pretty damn cool, and is by far the strongest weapon in the game for a Faith Strength characters, as it scales really well with both. Now let's move on to Spears, starting with the Channeler's Trident, a rare drop from the Channelers scattered throughout the world. This weapon has pretty good scaling with intelligence, making it a good spear to use on sorcerers, and not to mention it has a pretty cool moveset as well. But the coolest thing about this weapon, if you ask me, is the fact that it lets you dance. Demon Spear, a rare drop from the Batwing Demons, or sold by Shiva of the East for 15,000 souls. This weapon is the longest spear in the game, making it a very effective weapon. The moveset for the spear also combos well with its length, and making it a great long range melee weapon. Not to mention the spear looks awesome and deals lightning damage as well. Dragon Slayer Spear, obtained through Ascension with the Soul of Ornstein. I chose this spear because not only does it look cool, but it also has some really good scaling, because it scales pretty well with both dexterity, faith, and to some degree strength. But if you ask me, the coolest thing about this weapon has to be the moveset, as not only does it let you do an upward thrust attack, but it also lets you shoot lightning spears. Unfortunately you can't charge at the speed of light like Ornstein can, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Four Pronged Plow, a rare drop from the Scarecrows in the DLC. While this weapon isn't very strong, I still put it on the list because it's pretty funny to be killing things with a pitchfork. The special strong attack also just makes this even funnier. Next up we have Howbeards, and the first one on our list is the Black Knight Howbeard. A fairly rare drop from the Halberd Black Knights. This weapon not only has a cool move set, but also looks really nice at the same time. But the main selling point of this weapon has to be its sheer power. This weapon is arguably the strongest weapon in the game to be using on your first playthrough, with the power to cut any mob or boss down to size easily, even at endgame. Great Scythe, found on a body in the catacombs. I feel this weapon isn't especially good looking, but I still put it on the list because it is arguably the best weapon in the game for dexterity characters. Once fully upgraded, its scaling is fantastic and you can put out some insane damage to your opponent. And let us not forget this move. A chop! Titanite Catchpole, a rare drop from the Titanite demons scattered throughout the world. This weapon isn't too amazing in the looks department, but it does have some pretty cool moves. This weapon also isn't very strong, but half of its damage is magical, which does account for something. Next up is Whips, but only one of the Whips really impressed me, and that would be the Guardian Tail, dropped from the Severed Tail of the Sanctuary Guardian. This weapon is really cool because not only is it a freaking Scorpion Tail, but it also inflicts poison damage, which is a nice feature considering not many other weapons do that. This weapon still isn't very strong, but it's still the coolest weapon in the game. Up next is Fist Weapons. Claw, sold by Shiva of the East for 5,000 souls. While this weapon is pretty weak in combat, I still put it on the list because it allows the player to look like freaking Wolverine. There's not much else to say about it really other than the fact that it causes bleeding damage, which is a nice effect. Dark Hand, given as the reward for joining the Dark Wraiths Covenant, or as a rare drop from the Dark Wraiths. This weapon is really cool because not only does it double as both a shield and a weapon, but it also has a pretty unique ability to steal liquid humanity from people, making it quite a useful weapon. While it doesn't deal much damage, it still is on the list because of these rather cool features. Dragonbone Fist, obtained through Ascension with the core of an Iron Golem. Again, this weapon has low damage output, but it's still included on the list because it looks pretty damn cool, but the absolute best thing about this weapon has to be the strong attack. Check it out. 
It's all you can... Next we have Thrusting Swords, but only one of these really caught my attention, and that would be Ricard's Rapier, which of course drops off Ricard. This rapier looks pretty damn cool and has a really nice moveset, and lots of quick jabs. This makes Ricard's Rapier one of the best weapons to combine with things such as Dark Moon Blade, as that adds a fixed amount of damage to each attack. This rapier also has pretty good scaling with dexterity, making it still pretty effective later on. Now we move on to katanas, but again, only one of the katanas particularly interested me, and that has to be the Ayaito, found on a corpse in Blight Town. This katana has a really cool strong attack, both one-handed and two-handed. This weapon also has pretty good scaling with dexterity, and possesses the bleed effect, which makes it a pretty strong weapon in both PvP and PvE. Next up is axes, starting with the Butcher Knife. A guaranteed drop from Dark Spirit Manny to Mildred. This axe not only looks mental, but also has a pretty unique ability to restore HP with every hit. This weapon also has the best strength scaling of all axes in the game, making it the best axe to use on a strength character. And finally, the moveset on this weapon is great as well, because it allows the player to look like some sort of serial killer. Golem Axe, obtained through Ascension with the core of an iron golem. I was on the fence about including this axe, but decided it was cool enough in the end, mostly because of its special attack, which throws a shockwave type thing that does high physical and poise damage. The axe doesn't do great damage and doesn't look super cool, but the versatility is enough to make up for it if you ask me. Now we're moving on to Great Axes, starting with the Black Knight Great Axe, an uncommon drop from Great Axe wielding Black Knights scattered around the world. This axe does good damage and scales well with strength, making it a pretty effective weapon to use. This weapon also has a cool moveset and looks pretty nice as well, making it a very flashy weapon. Demon's Great Axe, a rare drop from the Taurus Demon and also sold from Shiva of the East for 10,000 souls. This Great Axe looks pretty cool, but that's not the main selling point of it. The Demon Great Axe has by far the highest damage potential of any weapon in the game, with high base damage and super good strength scaling. This makes the axe the greatest weapon to use on a strength character, even though the strength requirement for this weapon is ridiculous. Dragon King Great Axe dropped from the Gaping Dragon after you sever its tail. This stupidly heavy axe is really cool, because not only does it have a cool model, but it also does huge base damage. This weapon lacks scaling, but the base damage is high enough for it to still be competitive. The coolest thing about this weapon though, is definitely the special attack, which allows you to cast Earthquake all around you. Behold. Stone Great Axe, a rare drop from the Guardians in the DLC. This axe looks really cool and does pretty decent damage, but the main attraction of this weapon would be the strong attack, which slams the axe in the ground and then yanks it out creating a small shockwave that deals huge damage. And that's it for melee weapons, so now let's move on to ranged weapons, starting with the Black Bow of Ferris, a guaranteed drop from the Hunter in the Darkroot Forest. This bow does low damage, but scales really well with dexterity, making it arguably the best bow in the game for dexterity characters. What's more is that this bow has extremely long effective range, making it a good sniping weapon as well. And finally, the way you shoot this bow makes it look even cooler. Goth's Great Bow, given as a gift from Hawkeye Goth for killing Black Dragon Calamit, or dropped from killing Hawkeye Goth. I couldn't decide whether to put this bow or the Dragon Slayer Great Bow on this list, but eventually I went for this one because it just has more lore attached to it and it also scales better with strength. And finally, we have crossbows, starting with the Sniper Crossbow, found on a corpse on the roof of Sen's Fortress. This crossbow isn't the strongest one out there, but in my opinion is definitely the best looking one, with the awesome mixture of gold and black. The way the player holds this crossbow as well is really nice, as it makes you look like an actual sniper. Avalyn, found in a chest in the Duke's archives. This is by far the strongest ranged weapon in the game, with the ability to shoot three crossbow bolts all at once, giving it huge damage potential. Not only this, but Avalyn also looks really nice because it literally looks like three crossbows merged together to form one super crossbow. 
So there you have it guys, those are my top 40 weapons in Dark Souls. So to finish things off, let's do some honourable mentions, which are weapons that are cool but just not good enough to get on the list. Dragon Tooth, found in a secret chest in Analondo. This great hammer is a pretty cool model and does some pretty decent damage. Not only this, but this is also the weapon of Havel the Rock, which only makes it cooler. The reason this weapon didn't make the list is the fact that it just doesn't scale very well with strength, making it worse than other weapons such as the Demon Great Axe and of course the Great Club. Painting Guardian Greatsword, a rare drop from the Painting Guardians in Analondo. This is the smallest sword in the game, but still one of the strongest, because of its good scaling and high attack speed. If you're looking into some kind of augmentation build, then this weapon is for you, as it's arguably the strongest in the game. The moveset of this sword is also pretty damn sweet. This sword didn't make the list because I just felt it didn't look cool enough because of its small size and fairly basic model. Boulder Side Sword, a very rare drop from the Boulder Knights in the Under Parish and Sen's Fortress. This sword is arguably the strongest in the game for dexterity builds, due to its fantastic scaling. The sword also looks pretty cool and unique, because it kind of looks like a mixture of a rapier and a sword, and this is only made more apparent in the moveset, which features a lot of thrusting. I didn't include this weapon on the list because I just felt it looked a bit too boring. Flamberg, a rare drop from the Serpent Mages, all sold from Shiva of the East for 10,000 souls. This weapon isn't particularly strong, but it still looks pretty cool and has a nice unique moveset, with lots of slashing. I didn't include this weapon on the list because I just felt that it had nothing too special about it and wasn't particularly powerful. Zweihander, found on a corpse in the graveyard outside of Firelink Shrine. This is my personal favourite Ultra Great Sword in the game, because of how good it is as a starting weapon for all the strength players out there. I didn't include it on the list because unfortunately later on in the game, it really falls behind in the curve in terms of damage. That's it for this list guys, if you have any suggestions for a future video, then let me hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.